All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Ellie. I am part of SciOS, and mainly we're just here to organize kind of a partnership, as we mentioned, between open science and the tools that everyone's building here. Um, most of this intro will be pretty logistical, and then we'll kick off with Francis and Li Ting's talk pretty soon after this. Um, the main things I wanted to jump in and focus on were just that um, the main focus that we have is leaning into understanding the needs and the gaps within the scientific tech stack for open science. Open science is well-defined and has been explored in various academic ways, but there's a lot of tooling that's kind of missing. And so the goal of today is really to lean into what each of you are ideally getting out of this and understand, and then how we can kind of empty the or close the gap between the use cases that we have in science and the tools that you already have. So a couple of ways, like logistical ways we're going to do that is a couple of, first of all, is everyone in the Telegram chat? If so, then that's exceptional. We've got a couple different ways to engage. We're organizing the talks so that they're kind of question heavy. We've got about two thirds time talking and the rest of the time for conversation, question, question engagement. So the ask is if you drop in your questions into the open science track in Telegram, then we can kind of track when the questions are coming up. And then also later on, we'll have the opportunity to raise your hands throughout time and just have an active conversation. Um, second one is a couple of quick hand signals. We're in a multilingual space. A lot of people are talking differently. So if anybody is ever talking too fast, I do this a lot, then you can raise your hand and just like, slow down. I can't understand you, so I can't engage. <laughs> and if someone else sees that you're doing that and maybe they see that the speaker's looking over there, so not paying attention, if everybody can participate in that, that'll make it easier for everybody to talk. If someone's talking too slow or they're far away from the microphone so we don't get um, recording, then just raise your hands and then we can talk a little louder. This also helps for when we're having conversations across the room. Um, that's the main thing. And then also just show support, snaps. <laughs> so those are the main things that we have. And then before we kick off, I want to do another quick question. Um, so the point is to lean into the expertise that we're all bringing here today. So if we can take maybe a couple of seconds to think about like, what do you most want to walk with today, walk away with today, and then turn to someone who you haven't met yet and discuss with the, this with them for the, a little bit, and then we'll jump into the first talk.